Hello, welcome to Rapid Delve with Dream Futures of Entrepreneurs. Uh, my name is Fashel Chet. Uh, today we began, before now, we began three failures when it comes to beam raft design. We have done the first failure, second failure that possibly you might encounter in the course of your uh, beam raft uh, design. So today we want to look at the last part of the failure that you might encounter during your beam raft uh, design. Just like when you are designing your beam and you discover that some of the, your beams are failing. When it comes to beam raft, what are the things that you need to look out for and what, how do you go about it for you to, to pass? Is that okay? So I'm going to be showing you this particular one today. As you can see this structure, now you can see that some columns are failing. If you want to know how the proper way of uh, of correcting your beam or sorry columns that are failing go to our Ekide YouTube and watch our videos where you will see all those uh, proper way of correcting your columns or members so that is that so today we want to concentrate on what on the beams if you notice you discover that these beams these are uh, ground beams which are beam raft are what are failing is that okay so what will have caused the failure all of this we are going to what be talking about them so on this ground let's see how this can be edited now let's look at it you can see some of them pass why some did not pass isn't it and those ones that did not pass i purposely left them so that we can use it for what for this share trading so now let's go for it so once you are designing your beam beam raft rather you have finished designing how to design your raft how to design your sorry your slab everything have been done you can watch our, also watch our video on that so but today i want to concentrate on the beam when they fail is that okay what do you do so on this ground let's now go i'll go to this place and check let me see okay now come to ground uh, foundation beams i click on it and wait for it is that okay and let's see so you can see the ones that are failing one two three now when they are failing is that okay there are things you must have at the back of your mind that when your structures are failing or your beam routes are failing two things number one your spacing that's number one two your beam depth that's number two and three your reinforcement these three things are very very important when you come to correcting of your members that are failing so but you have to from experiences you'll be able to know which one you should go for first all these are the things you need to consider so first of all we are looking at this you can see utility ratio is close to what to one isn't it it's very close to one why this one is one we advise that your utility ratio was less than one is that okay so now that is that so now let's check this one why it's failing i click on it and let's wait for it let's wait for you okay why is it failing now it's failing if you now look at the top here you can see that your extra area is what your area of steel is what at this point here is less than what 100 which is not supposed to be this is 81 and this one is what 97 and this one is what 73 and this one is what okay this one is okay etc and if now look at this other another one let's check let's check let's check let's check let's check okay the rest are somehow okay this one 116 which is close to 100 which is i would say from experience it should be greater than this that is that and also let's come to this place now looking at this why is it failing? You can see that this place is showing red. I will have to explain it that when this place is showing red, as long as it's not less than 20, reason being that your aggregate is what is 20. Now, if this place is less than 20, it then means that your course aggregate in course of construction will not be able to pass in between your reinforcement. Is that okay? For example, you are having a 3Y16, and for example, you are having a 5Y16 with a section of 2 to 5 or 6 y 16 in section of 2 to 5, you discover that they are very, very close, almost touching each other. In such case, you should you want it to be difficult for your quartz aggregate to, to pass. Possibly by force, your mortar can what can pass. But when it comes to reinforcement, it's not pass. It's not a good it's not a good way of construct of constructing any of your structural members. So that is why if this place is less than 20, it's not it's not okay. But if it's more than 20 or 20, it's still okay. Why? Because your quartz aggregate is what is 20. So as long as it's showing red, but it's more than 20, it's perfectly okay. Now, when it comes to being um, beam uh, failure, beam rap failure. Now, there are things you need to know that this beam here, let me say okay first, let me say okay to pass because it's okay. Okay, now let me go back. Sorry, let me go back. As I said, let me quickly correct that before I move further. Um, let's come up. Okay, this one that's showing at what 80, 81 is not okay. So I come to this place, I increase it. Is that okay? I increase it. Okay, C20 is okay. You can see that, that it's more than what? It's more than 20. Is that okay? Sorry, it's more than uh, 100. It's now 395.5. Is 
5.77 that's our area of steel provided is that okay so that is that and you can see at the bottom the cross agri can still pass because the value here is what is more than what is more than 20 is that okay so that is that and the rest and the rest and this other one let me see okay this one this place here let me make it like this okay let's see okay it's okay and this one is also okay our rear it can also pass this one 151 200 this two okay all of these are okay so i can now say what okay all right so it has passed so now let's come to this place again and let's see let's see this one let's see, let's come up let's see this one let's come up okay you can see this one also at 20 is passing okay this one all these ones are very very okay and that is that now in a situation whereby you this value here is less than 20 is that okay it's 16 5 4 2 minus 1 all of those values they are less than 18 19 19.5 there that means that your section is not what okay then how do you solve it now when it comes to beam raft your beam raft can start when your beam beam is is a uh, is failing at 900 let me go back let me go to this place let me close this one first of all let me go to the 3d and let's see let me show you something at 3d okay that one have passed so by this one you see that it's still failing now when your beam when this is your foundation beam when it comes to beam raft it can be up to 1001 1, 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 even up to 2000 is that okay depending on the structure is that okay depending on what on your structure but the height of your structure at many times as a structure engineer determines your what your beam depth when it comes to beam raft is that okay so if you want to use a beam raft there are some clients that will tell you that they don't want a pile that the highest they can go for is what beam raft so in such case you have to design your uh, beam such that it will be able to carry this uh, structure is that okay and in such case you should be expecting a higher depth of what of beam so when your beams are failing your beam rafts are failing all you need to do is to go and increase the depth of your beam and i say which automatically once it's getting to one meter and above already is what is a wall is that okay we call it wall you no longer call it what beam is that okay you increase it up to 1001 1002 until it has passed the design is that okay that is on the ground that now that's on the ground that let me go back on the ground that after you have uh, you have edited this once and it's still showing you red you have done your spacing leg spacing you have to check your reinforcement and yet all of these are still failing you can see maybe i've increased it now let me now increase this let me come to this place and raise my age this is my age instead of 500 i'm making 1002 for example and this one also 1200 okay i click on what on this and then let's see you can see it's still there let me, let me see if it has been recognized okay it has been recognized and after entering the 1002 and discovered that this place before let's assume it's a 20 sorry it's, it's 15 and yet it does not pass the design i also go back and do what and increase this from a 1002 from 1200 to less than 1005 for example 1005 also 1500 is that okay i come to this place and click and let's wait so you can see assuming it's still failing that is brilliant. This is why we are still seeing this is because what our spacing, our uh, what do you call it, our width, our section of our beam is what is this what two thirty is that okay? So if that one is still failing at that point, all, all I'll do is go back. At this is uh, two uh, two thirty. That's my bowel BW. I'll do what I'll increase it to let's say three hundred. It depends on the structure. As I said, these are the ways in which you can what you can correct your beam air failure is that okay so you cannot see as i increase the width you can see it has changed this side have changed but this have not changed so these are the ways in which you can edit your beam raft what failure so you can now see it as part what the design is that okay so that is that i can now click on what on okay i've explained this value here i can now click on what on okay and let's see let's see is that okay so let's see let's come up okay you see it has passed you see, my utility issue is what far, far less than what than one, but which means that what, the structure is very okay. So let's check this one also. So these are the ways in which you what you edit your beam raft that what that fails. Is that okay? The width, the section, the depth, all of these, all of these are the things you what you consider. Look at this one; it's very, very work, very, very less than what hundred. This that is, uh, and uh, it's at the section. So let's see, and we already have this increasing this one now to twenty five. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What will happen here? Okay, at 25 is still okay. 
this one is still okay. Okay, let me see. Someone has something. Let me reduce this one to 16 and see if it will pass. Let's see. Okay, it has passed. So, which means you can see I've reduced this. You see, at 288.98 is my area of what still provided. Is that okay? And you see, my my bar side bar what bottom uh, spacing in between uh, reinforcement is what 25, which is more than what is more than 20. So you can see it here. So that is that. So you can see it's perfectly okay. Now looking at this, you see it's showing 10. This is not okay. Is that okay? This is not okay because it automatically shows that your reinforcement can never penetrate this. Is that okay? So it can never penetrate there. Uh, this. So that is that. And what I will do now? Let me just say. Let me just go back to this place. I have 500. Let me just make everything automatically to robot this here. Uh, I want 1,500 and. Uh, let me just use 1500. Uh, we are just like an example. So, this is how you correct your what? Your, um, your beam wrap that are failing. This one will make it 300. Let's make it, oh, I make it 250. Anyone? So, it's your choice until your structure have passed. Is that okay? Until your structure have passed. Just like in school, you see what? Assumed depth when we are designing our beam. Isn't it? You have what we call assumed depth. You assume your depth and see. You now do your the, uh, you now do your check, which is your deflection check. So you can see the value here is what it's already more than what more than twenty five, which means what is very okay now as it is based on this selection. We are having a one thousand two hundred, which is high. Let me see. I can reduce this one. Let me see. You can see I've reduced it, so you can see this it now. Before it was what it was what five y twenty, and the area provided is what. 1,220 it has very very high so automatically it has it has told me that it is possibly that i can reduce the reinforcement here is that okay so that is that i'll come to this place because of that depth i've increased and the width i've really increased rather is telling me that it's possible to re reduce my reinforcement so the bigger your section the lesser your reinforcement the lesser uh, the lesser your section the more reinforcement you have hope you take note of that is that okay so that is that let me see if i can still reduce this at this rate okay it's still okay you can see before it was 5y 20 now it's 3y 20 and it's still passing let me see if i can still reduce it if it will pass very okay you can see 2y what 2y 20 something of 5y 20 because we have in increased the depth you can see what we are now having and it's still perfectly okay and if you look at this one also 1055 these are the way you can do what you can also reduce this one to see that yet it passes your design as long as it's more than 100 uh, area of steel in this place and as we have always said this place must not show red you can see my cursor none of the values here must show red if this one show red but the red is not less than 20 you are what you are good to go so that is that i click on this and let's see if it will pass let's see if it will pass okay let's let's wait for it let's wait for it if it will pass is that okay let's wait for it i believe i've clicked let's wait for it okay you can see it has passed the design is that okay so since it's like this is now passed automatically i can now close this one i can now close this one and see i'll now edit you can see I will now edit this place and now reanalyze. Is that okay? So these are the ways in which you can what edit your beams raft your beams that are what are failing in the course of your design your beam raft. So what I'm now going to do since it has passed design, I've known the depth of beam that this at this that this one passes the design. So all I will now come to do, I will now redesign this particular area that are failing that have now passed to suit to become what like this ones we have here. Is that okay? So that is that. Thank you very much. This is the last part when it comes to beam raft failure. These are the challenges you face and this is how to go about it. Other challenges have been done in part one, part two, and this is the last part. So when you are able to know all of this, any when it comes to beam raft, I can bet you will beat your chest that yes, you can design beam raft correctly. Thank you very much. God bless you till I see you next time. Next time. Like this is, we love you. Thank you.